Mary Musgrove was a businesswoman, landowner, and at one time the wealthiest woman in colonial Georgia. Born to a Creek Indian mother and English father, she was bilingual and learned the workings of the deerskin trade. Her uncle, the Emperor Brims, arranged her marriage to John Musgrove Jr., the son of a South Carolina trader and planter. The couple set up a trading post on Yamacraw Bluff. When James Oglethorpe arrived in 1733, Mary used her linguistic skills to help him negotiate a treaty with Chief Tomachichi. This led to a strong friendship between the powerful leaders who went on to create the Georgia colony and order the construction of Savannah and Augusta. A year later, the Musgroves traveled to England with Tomachichi and a Creek delegation. In England, John Musgrove won an exclusive license to trade with the Yamacro and the Yuchi. Tragically, less than a month later, he died of fever. In addition, all four of Musgrove's sons would die in childhood. Mary was left with a 500-acre plantation, cattle, horses, indentured servants, and a deerskin trade. Mary married John Musgrove's former indentured servant, Jacob Matthews and together they set up a trading post on the Altamaha River. In 1737, Mary's land holdings increased when her Creek kinsmen transferred their land to her in accordance with matrilineal culture. Mary owned vast tracts of riverine land, Sapelo, Osaba, and St. Catherine's Islands. The British refused to accept the legalities of these land transfers to Mary. Meanwhile, her husband Matthews also died in 1742. Two years later, she married Thomas Bosomworth, an Anglican clergyman who fully supported her land claims. He traveled to London with her to argue her case before the British Board of Trade. She accepted a compromise wherein the islands of Osaba and Sapelo were to be sold by the British at a public auction and Mary won the proceeds. She retained St. Catherine's Island, where she died five years later.